And guys, once you start throwing this on your 808s, it's gonna completely transform your mix. Literally, when I started doing this, my mix leveled up like 10 times better. I wish someone would have told me about this earlier, but that's why I had to share it with you guys right away. What's going on everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at all of the little steps that you need to do with your 808s when you're mixing them down in your beat so that they sound super, super crispy without drowning everything out and wrecking your beat. So if you guys are ready, let's jump right into this. All right guys, so if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we are uploading videos like this every single week that you're not gonna wanna miss out on. My goal is to help you become the best music producer you possibly can, so we're putting out tutorials on every single topic to help you get there. Also guys, if you don't mind, smash that like button before we get started because this is gonna be an amazing tutorial that you guys must see. Now I've been looking around at different 808 mixing tutorials and I haven't actually come across a lot of the steps that we're gonna be talking about here that make your 808 sound super duper clean. And I was honestly like, what the hell? Is this like some secret information or something? Like why is nobody talking about this? Well, we're gonna be covering all of that right now. And guys, make sure you follow every step that we're gonna be going through because if you skip some of these, it might not sound the same as mine's gonna sound in the end. So once you hear the 808 when we're done at the end of the video, you're gonna know right away each of these steps is so, so crucial to get you there. Without any further ado, let's get right into this. All right guys, so this is what the 808 sounds like without any of the steps applied obviously, right? We haven't started yet. So this is what the 808 is sounding like and this is just a shortened spins 808. Sounds pretty good, right? But we can make it sound so, so much better. So let's get into these steps right now. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is make sure that I have a saturator on the master. Now, if you don't wanna use a saturator, use some kind of a soft clipper. Um, as you can see right here, I have this saturator on and I have this soft clip setting on right here. You're gonna wanna make sure you have a soft clipper on so that way if your track ends up going over zero dB, you're gonna clip off any excess so it doesn't start clipping, distorting, and ruining your track completely. So Ableton Saturator does a really nice job for us. So if you just slap that bad boy on the master, make sure to turn soft clipper on, you're gonna be good to go for that step. All right, so the next step after that is just detuning your 808. So we're gonna watch this right here. All you need to do is put a tuner on your 808 channel and we're gonna watch it right here and see what it's telling us and then we're gonna go ahead and detune the 808 appropriately. So let's play it really quick. So you're seeing it's right around plus 12, plus 13, somewhere in there when it finally settles on a value. Plus 12. Yeah, so right around there. So let's go ahead and do a negative 12 to counteract that plus 12. So what you can do is you can actually go into your controls right here and right into your detune right here, we can go ahead and put in negative 12. So now we should notice that that note, when it hits and it finally settles in, it should be hitting right around the zero, right on the perfect note. Let's see. Not perfect, but we're definitely really, really close, and that's all we need to do. We just want to get it a little bit closer there so it's hitting a really solid note. Okay, so the next thing I do is I go ahead and sidechain with my kick on an EQ. So if you have a kick in your track, it's definitely gonna be important that you do a little bit of side chaining, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. Otherwise, if you don't have a kick, then you can go ahead and skip over this step. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go ahead and do that right now. So let's go ahead and grab an EQ. Okay guys, and I like to use Fab Filter Pro Q for this because it does a lot of the nasty work for us. So all we're gonna do here is we're first gonna go into our kick and let's go ahead and see what frequency our kick is hitting at. So if we open up our uh, if we open up our EQ on our kick, we're just gonna see where's the kick really hitting. So it seems to be hitting right around this range, right? 57, 56, somewhere around there. So let's go into our 808 now. And right here where it says sidechain, we're just gonna go ahead and click that and we're gonna put kick. Oop, not the 808, we wanna make sure it's the kick. Okay, so now it's gonna be taking input from our kick channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up and we're just gonna make a note somewhere, double click on this and we're gonna go with that 56 range that we were just looking at. 
And I'm not going to turn down this gain. I'm going to turn down the outer one right here. So we're going to turn this down. Boom. Just like that. And what we can do is hit this auto button and click this. And that's going to allow this side chain input to come in. And then you can go ahead and form it however you want to form it. So we're just going to do maybe something like this. Maybe bring this down a little bit more. Something like that. And now what you'll notice is that every time the kick hits, this is going to dodge those frequencies. So this is like a really clean way to do some side chain. I do not recommend you do the compressor route. That was uh, the old way to do it. And there's much better, cleaner ways to do it now. So we're going to listen to it with the kick and make sure everything's sounding good. Awesome. We can hit that. We can hear that kick just punching straight through. So we know we are good to go. Okay, guys, this next step is super, super crucial. And this is one of the ones that I don't see a lot of people talking about. So that's going to be compressing your 808. So the 808 goes crazy, right? With modern trap music, hip hop music, we want our 808s to just smack in the mix. But since the 808 has so many low frequencies, it really has a chance to kind of bring everything else back when the 808 hits, right? It makes everything drown out in the back. You don't hear it as well, and it starts to sound bubbly, like it, almost like it's underwater in the background or something. So to counteract that, we're going to go ahead and put a compressor on our 808, so that way it tames it down a little bit, but also lets it just hit just as hard, if not even better. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our Ableton plugins here, and we're going to go into our glue compressor. And the nice thing about this is we have a lot of presets ready for us to go already. And the one that I like to use is the bass punch right here. So you don't need to do anything. As soon as you put that on there, you are good to go. Now you could listen to it really quick just to make sure it sounds good and you could play with the threshold and the makeup a little bit more. But honestly, if you throw that on there, you're pretty much good to go. And if you don't have any of the presets and you don't have this compressor or something like that, you can literally steal these different values right here and you could use those values on a different compressor or you could go ahead and punch them into the glue compressor if you just don't have these different options available for us. So let's listen to it now. And this is without it. It makes that initial punch a little bit clippier and it just helps tame all the lows and everything that are coming around afterwards so it's not so um, wild and it's not so filling. And guys, once you start throwing this on your 808s, it's going to completely transform your mix. Literally, when I started doing this, my mix leveled up like 10 times better. I wish someone would have told me about this earlier, but that's why I had to share it with you guys right away. All right, guys, so we're almost done here. Let's talk about one last thing that we can do for this bad boy, and that's going to be sending it to a return track. So what that's going to do is it's going to allow our 808 to beef up because it's going to be going, it's going to be sending its signal through another track. So I already have a kick 808 track that I set up right here. And what we're going to do for the 808 is go ahead and put this up all the way. So if you don't have a return track, all you're going to do is you're going to right click over here and you're going to say insert return track. Boom. And then it's going to give it a letter, right? So this one's A, this one's B. So whatever letter that new track is, that's the one that you're going to want to turn up on your 808. Okay. And then you have a choice of what you want to put on that track. And I suggest that you play around with it a little bit. So you could put a distortion on it. You could put some kind of a soft clipper. You could put some kind of a bit crusher. Or you could put some combination of all of those. So I actually have this plugin that I've been using a lot lately. And what it does, it's kind of like a bit crusher effect that also has some distortion. You can see it's got the crunch um, and the jittery function, which are some sort of distortions. And it's also adding a little bit of saturation. So honestly, you could put the Ableton Saturator on this as well instead of this if you wanted to do that. So find some plugin, whichever one works for the best for you, and then go ahead and put it on this channel. So if you want to copy this, go ahead and do that. Um, I have saved a preset that I like, so you can co if you have this plugin, you can just go ahead and copy these values right here. Zero on the crunch, you know, 30 on the jitter. Mixes up saturation just a little bit. So yeah, you can go ahead and steal these if you want to. Otherwise, play with the different ones like we were just talking about and you're going to get some incredible results. It's going to completely transform your 808s as well. So without it, it sounds like this. And with it, it sounds like this. 
So as you can tell, it just beefed it up, it got bigger. It's like we're adding another layer of 808 on top of it to make it bigger and fuller in the mix. So let's listen to it with our kick now. And I'm gonna go ahead and back this down a little bit because I know it's gonna be too loud. Listen to how clean that sounds. That just sounds amazing. Let's listen to it in the track as well, just so you guys can get a little feel for that. Guys, it sounds so, so clean. It sounds so much better than it did originally. And these are the exact steps that you're gonna wanna follow every time to get that result for yourself. So really quick, in the comments below, let me know which one of these haven't you done yet or have you done any of them? Let me know if any of these different little tricks that we did are new to you because I'd love to know. A lot of these I didn't find just by watching a bunch of different YouTube tutorials. It was by watching other producers on live streams and stuff like that to where I was able to gain a lot of this knowledge that was kind of hard to find if you're just searching on YouTube to find these tutorials. So I'm really excited that I got to throw all this together in a video for you guys. Yeah, and let me know in the comments below what you thought and if you, any of this is new for you. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up the video. So if you're following these five simple steps, your mixes are gonna be completely transformed and your 808s are gonna be hitting like never before. So if you guys like that one, make sure to smash the like button on this video for me and definitely subscribe to the channel if you're new here because we're uploading videos like this every single week that you're not going to want to miss out on. Also guys, make sure to give me a follow on Instagram. I'm going to be posting on there more often so you guys know when I'm dropping new videos and you can keep up with all the amazing content that we're making over here. Also, we have a new Discord channel where people are dropping all kinds of crazy sample packs that are free. People are collabing in there. People are getting their questions answered. And I go in there pretty much every day to go in there and talk with some people and answer questions if there are some to be answered. So if you wanna join in on the fun, make sure to join the Discord as well. And besides that, guys, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. And we'll be catching you again in the next one. Peace out.